Is Free Agent any good? We've been using Free Agent in our business for over eight years. We've also spent another 40 hours testing out their main competitors in the UK. Now I'm going to show you exactly why we recommend Free Agent as the best accounting software around, and I'm going to give you a quick crash course in how to sign up and use it. Let's start with the three big advantages of Free Agent. As you'll see if you watch this video to the end, it's really easy to use. You can easily master the basics in just a few minutes. It's perfect for all types of businesses from sole traders through to complex limited companies. There are time saving features for everyone. There's no lengthy contracts or setup fees to worry about. Simply choose an affordable plan that's easy on your cash flow. Above all, Free Agent helps to save you time on your admin so you can concentrate on what you do best, running your business. Plus, it keeps everything organised, saving you money on your accountancy bills. In fact, some businesses have been able to get rid of their accountancy bills altogether, thanks to the integrated reporting and tax return features. All great so far, but what about the disadvantages? I'll be honest, we couldn't find many, but there are two to be aware of. They aren't the cheapest software out there. But you get what you pay for, and few offer anywhere near as good value for money as Free Agent. The reporting side of the software is getting better all the time, but it can still feel a little underwhelming at times. But that also means you don't get lost in masses of data you don't understand. Right, that's a quick overview, but I know you're itching to look under the bonnet. So let's get started by signing up to an account with a 10% lifetime discount automatically applied. So to claim your 10% off free agent for life, you just need to use one of our links, which are on our website, businessforbeginners.co.uk. That's the number four, not spelled out. And find our free agent review and click on any of these links here or use this referral um, code here, 4904IXIL. That will give you 10% off your subscription for life. We do get a small commission if you use our link, um, that helps us to keep the site going and keep producing content like this. But it also gives you that 10% off for life, so it makes it cheaper for you to use our link. If you click on any of the Try Free Agent buttons, you'll come through to the sign up page. And if you correctly used our link and you're getting your 10% discount, you'll have this message up here that says you'll get 10% off for life. Now, good news is that once you get into the back-end platform of Free Agent, there is a way to actually get your subscription completely for free. I'm going to show you that later once we're inside, um, but just know that that 10% off is your initial discount and you can build on that and get it for free. So we're going to go ahead and complete this form just as you will do when you're signing up. You get 30 days free and you don't even need to put in a credit card. Now you need to give a business name. Now if you don't already know what your business name will be or you're setting up as a sole trader, you can just put your name in this field for now. Um, so we're gonna say that we're a sole trader. The difference between sole trader and limited company and free agent is very small. Basically on limited companies, you get a few extra reports and things that you need like corporation tax, calculations and that kind of thing. I'm gonna show you the sole trader aspect of it now. We use both within our business, um, but I'll show you the sole trader one because as I say, there's not that much difference between the two. So for now, we're just gonna say our business name is Business for Beginners, and then we set up a password here. Tick the box to say whether you want to sign up for their mailing list or not. For the purpose of this demonstration, we won't. Okay, so once you've completed that initial screen, you do have to change a few, um, add a few more details here, so you have to, Put what type of business that you are and you can see which ones are required fields with the little red stars there so that's all we should need to put in for now and when you come through to this screen it will ask you to set your accounting dates so it will pre-populate these with um, some example dates it's now going to ask us if we're VAT registered or not. For your bank account, um, you will need to add in bank account details here. And one of the great things about Free Agent is you can link your bank account and it will automatically pull in transactions and help to automatically explain each one. So it really saves you time. So you do want to link your bank account once you have it. So this screen will all will be the first thing that you see whenever you log into your account and it will give you a really clear overview of exactly where your business is at. Now, because we've only just set this up, there's no data in there yet, but over time you will see there'll be 
little bar chart here that shows you all of your incomes, incoming and outgoings, as well as summarizing it with numerical numbers here. You can easily change the view last 12 months, last six months or last three months here. Here you can see what invoices um, are waiting to be paid. You can look at estimates, projects and time slips as well, all different things that some businesses might need. Once you've connected your bank account, you'll see a feed of your bank balance for the last few months here. Um, and then down in this bottom right, this is a really useful screen because this will show you profit and loss, what kind of tax you should be looking at paying. And there'll be a tax timeline which will show you upcoming payments that are due, the date they're due and the amount that's due. All worked out from the recordings that you've made within Free Agent. So you'll get to know that screen as you've got more data coming in. But let's get on with what you need as a small business. So you can record all of your contacts within free agents so all of the people that you do business with whether that's you selling services to them or them selling services to you all you have to do is click create contact add their name organization email you can put in the invoicing address any other details that you want to use for that contact and what that means is when you want to let's say you want to create an invoice for somebody that you work with you can go into the invoices section, you can click create your first invoice. Now in this case, because we don't have any contacts already, it's asking us to create the contact. If you have contacts added, it will show you a drop down list of those contacts. So you can choose exactly which contact you want to invoice. So for now, let's just say that we want to invoice Joe Blogs Limited. You've got invoice referencing, so this will be used for recording each individual invoice and linking it to the transactions that come through. We can set an invoice date, whether it's today, it will automatically default to today, but it could be in the future. And we can set our payment terms. We can then, there's also sort of various other options. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but you can, in your own time, explore and see what's actually available. So if we click create new invoice, now that's when it starts to create our actual template. So you can see the address that I put in earlier, we've got our business name and our address up here. So it's creating the invoice for us. So we don't need to go off into other software and start creating that. It does it all here. So we can click add invoice item and that will allow us to set a quantity and a unit. So for instance, if you're invoicing, let's say you're doing some consultancy work, you could invoice for say three hours of consultancy work you can put the description of the work there and your unit price so what are you charging per quantity so in this case per hour and let's say we're charging 30 pound an hour um, and we can click create and finish and you can see now this invoice has three hours of consultancy work at 30 pounds each for a total of 90 pound and that is our invoice created. You might have some extra details on here, bank details and things when you start adding them. Um, but for now, that's what we've got. Now, what we can do from here is we can either click to send that email directly to the person. So we can create an email that sends it all from within Free Agent. You never have to log out. Um, you will need to confirm your email address first, which obviously we haven't done yet. But it means that you never have to log out a free agent to even send the invoice. If you do want to send it a different way, then you can click save as PDF and that will download it to your computer as a PDF file. And you can then send it to your contact in whatever way you wish. Once you've done that, I do recommend clicking Mac as sent because then that means free agent will now start looking out for that invoice to be paid when transactions come in, when it's pulling in the transactions from your bank account. And it also means that if we go to work and invoicing, we can see now that that invoice is waiting to be paid. We can see when it's due, who it's been sent to, and how much is actually due. Um, and again, just a, a quick summary, and that will go green once it's been paid and recorded in your bank account. So it makes invoicing really, really quick and easy. If we click through and go through to bills, um, so bills allows you, if you know that there's a bill that's going to need paying at some point in the future, you can put the bill into here and free agent will automatically 
calculate that and show you that in the reporting and remind you when it's due so that you can stay on top of what's actually due and when and make sure you don't miss any payments. So that's really, really useful. Expenses. So if you happen to pop to the shops and you need some new printer paper or something like that, that your business should be paid for, but you've had to pay it out of your own personal pocket, you can record all of your expenses here. Um, and that means you can even just snap a quick photo of it using the app um, and record it all in free agent so that everything is in one place. You never have to go anywhere else and it will keep all of your accounts and your books and your records all in order. Once you've connected a bank account, you'll see that on the banking screen here. Really simple to connect your bank. You select which bank you've got, you put in your account details, you approve it with your um, bank. And then free agent will automatically pull in the transactions and you just have to explain each transaction. You categorize it as to where it should belong, like what type of transaction it is, like is it website hosting, is it um, outsourcing costs, whatever it is, you categorize it, record it, and that will mean that when it comes to doing your taxes and getting your reports, we'll just jump ahead and go into accounting and reports. You can see there's lots of different reports here. Some of them you might need, some of them you might find a little bit overwhelming. One of the key things that we found really useful is the profit and loss. And you can look at this monthly, quarterly, yearly, or you can compare it um, over two different time periods as you move forward. So if we stick to yearly, you'll see your turnover, you'll see how many sales. So if you remember, we created an invoice for £90. That's already showing in here because we're expecting to receive that money. Um, and it's showing you what your operating profit will be. And then it will also record any dividends that you've taken if you're a limited company or any salary payments that you've made. Um, it will basically make everything really easy for you to see and keep a track of. When it comes to your taxes, if you go through to self-assessment, this will appear for both sole traders and limited companies. So if you're a limited company director, you can go in and you can still submit your own personal self-assessment tax return through free agent. You can see the form is pretty much exactly what you would expect to see if you've ever done one of these forms before. But free agent will pull in all of the information it already knows to save you having to enter it all and find it all out. All you'll have to do is go through at the end of the tax year and check everything, add any extras that free agent isn't able to record, like if you've got an income from elsewhere. And free agent can calculate exactly how much tax will be due and you will be able to submit it directly to HMRC using your government gateway details. And it's the same if you're running a limited company, you'll have options for creating corporation tax returns and things like that, that you need to submit as your business. And that is why we really love Free Agent. I know this has been a really quick walkthrough. Um, I've just shown you some of the key things that you can do and that you will need, but hopefully you're seeing just how quick and easy it is to do everything that your business needs to do. Now, there's one other thing that I just should show you, and that is if you go over here, click on the drop down there where your business or personal name is, click on settings, and here you can add all sorts of information about you and your business. So there's things like your company details, company logo, you can add new users, you might want to add your accountant, for instance. Um, and there's lots of other things here. Again, I'll leave you to explore those in your own time, but this is where you find all of the settings that control all of your um, free agent account. Now there's one thing we haven't covered yet and that is how you get access to free agent for life, like free, completely free. And that's something that will show up once you're a paying customer. If you click on there, you will have a referrals option. And when you click on that referrals option, it will take you to a page that will give you a unique URL that you can share with people. And for every person who signs up, using your referral link, so very much like the one that you used with us at the beginning, you will get 10% off your subscription. And there's no limit to that. You can keep going, you can get another 10% off, another 10% off. Once you've referred nine members, because remember you've got your 10% off initially from using our code. So once you've referred another nine people to Free Agent, you will be getting your subscription completely for free.
And that's for life as long as those nine people continue to use Free, Free Agent. Check out the description for a link to our full review of Free Agent. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips to help you start and grow a new company.